right? Yeah, um, I, I think I put the work in. I, I wasn't I wasn't bullshitting. Uh, I went to therapy. I tried different therapists out, even you know, trying to see what worked for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to be a good guy. I want to be the best version I could be, and it sucks that I wasn't like that for you. Probably. You are a good guy. Uh, AD it, really, is like... it wasn't. It wasn't intentional. Like I'm watching it back, and it broke my heart to break your heart, honestly. And uh, that's not what I, that was not my intention. Um, it happened, and I'll take everything that comes with it. I, I came out a different man, and I have to credit that to AD. So, you know, if someone changed your life, you just don't, you know, turn your back on them, and, and you know, that's that's just me being here for her. Yeah, I applaud you for growth. Yeah. yeah. I applaud you as a man for being willing to say, I need to take a look at myself, and I, I need therapy. I, I want to seek that out. I want to be a better person for myself and for others. And, and that takes a lot of courage to, A, one, do, and B, to say on national All television. Through. So I, I, I applaud you for that, man, yeah. really. It was hard watching because there were so many layers to your love story. Mm. Yeah, I'm curious, Aiden, how, do you, how did you feel when you watched it back, watching that conversation between Clay's mom and his dad? Um, I thought in watching it with Vanessa, that was a pretty heavy moment, a pretty insightful moment. Um, did it give you any more understanding as to why things were the way they were? I think that conversation really... Um, closed the circle for me. There were a lot of missing pieces that I just could not quite understand. And I knew that Clay's parents had gone through their trials and hearing that conversation really showed me that he was battling things that I just, there's nothing I could have done to take that um, stress from him. And so hearing that conversation, I was like, wow, like that was deep. And I didn't want to respectfully be Clay's mom in the long run. I didn't want that to be my story. Clay, how was that conversation for you to watch between your mom and your dad? Uh, it was tough. I would say, you know, we're still going through our family and, 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 and searching for healing. So, you know, I think a lot of black men could resonate with this in terms of just having broken households. But one thing about my parents is that they never they never made us feel any type of way. They did their best to raise us, and that's their story. And eighty mom said it best. She said that I can't be taking all my parents' stuff. I got to do what's good for me, and that's the reason why I took that approach to go to therapy, so I could stop, you know, wearing, you know, the baggage that my parents left me, and you know, go my own way. You mentioned the healing. Part of that healing, I think, was I remember your mom tasking your father with apologizing to you for some of the memories and the experiences you had as a youth and how it's maybe shaped your path. Yeah. Has that, has that apology happened? Have you had that chance to, to have that moment with your father? It's, uh, it's not, me and my dad have a great relationship in terms of our banter. It hasn't been like a, I'm sorry, but in his way it has been. And I feel comfortable with his answer and who he is as a man. I don't, I don't like throw any stones at him, you know, cause my dad's a good father. I just, it's my first time expressing that this is something that is affecting me because you don't really see from men how to be a good husband. It's always like happy wife, happy life. You don't really hear the experience, especially as a guy like me, I was an athlete, just to how to transition from going from a little bit of a rock star life to now you're just with one person. There's really nobody that explains it, talks about it. Well, you, you're speaking of examples of how to be a good, a good husband. And there was one conversation you had with AD where you said you've been watching love is blind for the very first time and it made you nervous because as you said that is what a husband is supposed to come like he says all the right things so i'm curious who in that moment you were referring to and watching love is blind (laughs) uh so it's very documented i didn't watch love is blind before i joined the show actually it was funny when i seen ad and her mom they put on love is blind season four and i was referring to brett i thought that brett was uh I just felt like he just did everything, like he said all the right things. He just kind of, he, he just like personified as a, a good black man or a good husband, not even black man, just a good husband. And, you know, I just looked at him and I was like, I don't think that who I am could do what all what Brett did. So it was just like a little pessimistic thought. But even with that, you know, I give myself grace. I do it in my own way. And even I'm not even happy with that comment. But the compliment is that I do think Brett is a, a stand up guy. And I was just looking and, you know. Thinking of that sense. Well, we're lucky to have Brett and Tiffany with us here today. Yes! Guys. Brett and Tiffany, smile.